Enayin leberches hamozayin min ha-toyro. That's a gemur and broches daf mem ches omin beis shenem avi achal ko v'savot v'verach bo z'shem al-kev. Now there is a difference between berches hamoz and the uraise and berches hamoz and the rabbonon. Berches hamoz and the uraise is only if he ate k'day svia. V'yochalto v'savoto v'verachto. If he didn't eat k'day svia, then berches hamoz and would not be min ha-toyro. And Chachamim were metak and ad kezayis v'ad kebeitza. That's a mechlekes tanu. And the halacha is, if you wait a kezayis, you need to say berches hamazon. So berches hamazon is diuraisa, but there definitely is berches hamazon de rabbanon. Berches hamazon, berches hamazon de rabbanon would be when you eat a kezayis. So obviously, here berches hamazon diuraisa is if you eat. In the modern world, people don't eat that much bread. And I'm not talking about this new trend that people, you know, for health reasons, eat very little bread. But even people that aren't really very thoroughly versed about the nutrition, but this is the age of abundance. It's the age of plenty. So most people just wash, you take a bite, you eat some bread, and then you have first course and second course, and then you have dessert and so much to eat. It is very common that people don't even eat a kezayis pas. And then berches amazon is a brocha lebatola. So it's very important to be careful about this. When you wash, first thing, before you touch food, eat ekezayis. And what is equally important, eat ekezayis toich kedei achilas pras. Because even if you do eat ekezayis, but if it wasn't toich kedei achilas pras, according to most poiskim, and this is a discussion I doubt we'll get in today, but according to most poiskim, if you didn't eat ekezayis toich kedei achilas pras, then you can't say bechsa mozen, even mit rabonon, and it's a brocha lavatona. So I strongly suggest you should adopt a minig whenever you wash to a suda. Number one, before partaking of four spies of any food, first eat a kezayis pas. And it should be torched achilis pas. What's the shir of torched achilis pas? Regarding Yom Kippur, our minig is the chumar of the chsam soifer and chuvis chelik vav semachav gimel, nine minutes. But that's the chumar. Chulish yesh v'sekona that needs to eat the shiurim should wait between one kasevis and the other kasevis nine minutes. Lekula, that's too much of a shiur. Lekula or the chumar, on the other hand, if we want to eat the kezayis to enable us to say berches hamazon at least mitzvah rabbanon, you need to eat the kezayis pas in the time span of two minutes, maximum four minutes. So my eitzah is, and this is extremely important because if you think about it, you will realize this is extremely common. Many people wash, take a piece of bread, you take a bite, and you start eating. And then when you say, Berches HaMozen, it's a brocha levatona. So, Berches HaMozen, the Uraisa necessitates, Kedai Svia, Min HaPas. Berches HaMozen, the Rabbonon, it is enough to eat a Kezayis, but you need to eat the Kezayis, Toich Kedai Achilles Pas. So, it's a Minig Toich. Sit down, you wash, eat a kezayis immediately, first thing. Usually, if all you eat will be bread, in two minutes you eat more than a kezayis. To eat a kezayis takes a half a minute, takes 40 seconds. But I think it's something to be careful about and just to be aware about because many, many people, when they say berchsamozen, they might say berchsamozen with a gewaldig kavona, as a zgula to pranosa. But if it's a brocha lavatol, I doubt it'll be very much of as good of our pranasa. So this is just a suggestion. It's, it's a very simple suggestion. And lest you forget 
Just make it a custom, make it a minig. Whenever you wash to a sudo, number one, you eat the kazayas pasta first thing before touching anything else.